everybody um so i decided to just read some stuff today because i am working on learning ruby um ruby is a back-end programming language and that's what i've been learning for the past few months um however i use a lot of different avenues to learn and today i'm using code academy code academy pro and this book, Beginning Ruby, From Novice to Professional by Peter Cooper. So, in Code Academy, it's talking about the each iterator. Dot each is a method. Um, basically, when you have an object, um, you can make an object do stuff by creating a method. So, the each method is an iterator. Iteration means um, from what I've read and in my own words, uh, you have like a group of data, a group of things, and those group of things are often in an array, and you can operate on each member or each element of the array with using an iterator. So, this is what it says about the dot each iterator that I was reading about. Um, Actually, let me find it. I don't want to uh, move because this camera thing is wobbly. Each iterator. So I looked on 143 and 144. Oh, that's right here. So, this is what I read. An innumerable. In previous chapters, you performed the process of iteration like so one two three four five dot each number puts number so basically it's saying take the numbers one through five and list them in sequence um, yes yes I will I'll be out there in eight minutes thanks sorry I had to answer my daughter um, the numbers 1, 2, 3, 4, and 5 take each number in this group, in this array, and list them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. This is what it says in the book. In this case, you create a temporary array, temporary array, containing the numbers 1 through 5, 1 through 5, and use the each iterator or the each method to pass each value take number one and put it as number into the code block assigning each value to number so basically number is a variable and I know it's a variable because it's inside these little pipes and it's saying the method each is saying every time you look through this group of items starting with one assign one to number then assign two to number, then assign three to number, then assign four to number, then assign five to number. So basically, it would be like this. Number equals one, number equals two, so on and so forth. So that's what that's doing. It's passing each number into the number variable. <sighs> Let me read this again. In this case, you create a temporary array containing the numbers one through five and use the each iterator to pass each value into the code block. Assigning each value to number, there we go, to number that you then print to the screen with puts. So basically, you have the group of number, you have your method, then you take each of these numbers and assign it to the variable number one by one, and then you display it on the computer by this little code here, puts number. That's basically saying put output string, which output string, yeah. Basically that is what it stands for, but it's this is not really a string. Um, puts number. Yeah, that's what makes it show up on the screen in layman's terms. 
the each iterator gives you a lot of power as it allows you to go through all of the elements of an array or a hash and use the data you retrieve to work out, for example, the mean of an array of numbers or the length of the longest string in an array, like so. So we created variables called my array, and there's an equal sign, then this, this means something that I'll explain later. Um, but the code, just basically let you know, is this is a test of the longest word check. So then we create a variable called longest word check, and we set it equal to an empty string. What's going to go in there is the longest word. This little method program function thing here is going to put the longest word. It's empty right now, but this right here is what puts something in there. So then it says my array dot each do word. So basically it's saying take the my array variable and go through each word in this sentence and put the longest word because you're going to say create another variable down here you're going to take longest word and you're going to input another um you're going to change the value of the variable and now it's going to equal the word if longest word dot length is less than word length so basically this is math and it's saying the longest word is equal to word, the variable word, which this is a variable word, this is a variable word, this is a variable word, this is a variable, this, 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 all of these are the variable word, just like up here. Whenever you have something in there, it assigns whatever is inside your array to this variable. Um, so yeah, so it's saying longest word is equal to word if longest word longest word is empty, dot length is less than word dot length and puts longest word. So basically this whole little thing is an array and the each method went through each word in this sentence and found the longest word. Not the spelling, but basically the word that has the most characters. So that's kind of an example of the each iterator. Actually, it is an example of the each iterator. Um, I don't know if that explained it right or if I'm thinking about it right, but that's how I am thinking about it. If you have any comments or um, if you have any suggestions on another way to explain it or think about it, please comment below, like the video. Thank you very much for watching. Y'all have a great one.